In this video today guys, I'm going to quickly explain how you can get the mobile builds without using the performance mode setting in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. That's right guys, if I go into my settings right now on Fortnite and scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I am in fact using DirectX 11 and by the way this works on DirectX 12 too. But today I'm going to show you how to get mobile builds on either DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 without using the performance mode setting. To do it guys, all you've got to do is select either DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 and you've got to make sure you have the exact same same settings like I have in game right now. So your view distance must be on epic, shadows medium and alias in medium, textures medium, effects on medium and post processing on medium. Then all you want to do is go in the game and you'll see straight away that I do not have the mobile builds. I do in fact have the DirectX 11 slash DirectX 12 builds. But if I go ahead and go back into my settings, scroll down under the video tab where it says view distance, if I change my view distance from epic down to near, watch what happens. If I press apply, and by the way I'm still on DirectX 11, this works with DirectX 12 too, if I go into game, boom, I now have mobile builds like that. Look, this is insane. And I'm literally on, again, if I go in my settings, DirectX 11 and again it works with DirectX 12 but guys that's how you get the mobile builds on these rendering modes without using performance mode as you can see that's clearly mobile build and again I am clearly on DirectX 11 which can be a huge FPS boost to all those people out there that do use either DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 but as you can see guys it's actually working in game in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 be sure to give it a try guys and let me know if it boosts your performance for me right now I haven't really tested it a lot but obviously I can imagine it will as the builds are a lot easier to render in as they normally are as they look obviously mobile like but I can imagine it can give a huge FPS boost to anyone out there that's using DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 but for me personally I'm still on performance mode usually but actually might go over to DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 um, after seeing this um, method which I need to shout out a guy called Electro on Twitter for showing me this he showed us exactly how to do it so big credit to him I'll leave his Twitter in the description below but yeah guys it's an awesome little um, bug slash glitch that can massively improve your FPS be sure to give it a try and you should be good to go if the video helps out be sure to drop a like on it be sure to subscribe to the channel too and finally feel free to use code life in the fortnite item shop to help me out a turn i'll catch you guys in the next one enjoy mobile builds on directx 11 12 catches in the next one peace